Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we've just been out working some ground because we got a half an inch of rain last night so it is too wet to harvest but we have been able to get some ground worked up. Uh, we've had the 9330 on uh, the 2623 just working down some corn stalks that don't need to be ripped in. Uh, it's been working pretty good. Uh, but I got a call from the dealer um, that I should probably come back and take a look at what they dropped off for me to demo for the rest of the season. Uh, so we brought this back and as I'm pulling in I see this little beauty over here. Uh, so we have been looking at getting a new ripper um, trying to go away from the disc ripper and get into more of like a strip toe where we're not disturbing all the ground uh, we do have a strip tail rig in there. Uh, it's nothing big. We don't use it for very much. Um, but other than that, it is a good little thing to have around and it does show good yield improvements. Uh, so we're starting off them on uh, 2100 here. Uh, we have three different ones we're going to try out this fall, see which one we like the best. Um, and then this 9370 is a 20. 14, I believe, that has roughly over 3,800 hours on it. It is for sale. Uh, the other reason we had this brought over because we've been looking at purchasing this to replace the 9330. Uh, that tractor is just about to push 10,000 hours, so it is getting up there and it hasn't been rebuilt. Uh, but we're going to head down into some of our bean ground and see how this thing does. I haven't really drove this thing too much. I did take it and drive it around the farmyard just to get kind of a feel of it, see if I like it or not. And so far I do like this tractor. Uh, the transmission is going to be a little bit to get used to if I use it in the uh, E23 instead of power shift. But I think once I do get used to it I'll end up liking it. It is nice having the more advanced green star on here. Uh, the other one only has a brown box, same as what's in our 8300. Uh, but neither of those really need great sub inch accuracy GPS systems in it, so. I mean, neither does this, but if it's going to come with it, I might as well just get it. So we did get the wheat seeded and rolled. And you can see it's been uh, about a week since the last video, so that's starting to come up. Uh, it ended up going fairly well, didn't have any issues. So hopefully the rest of the harvest continues that way. reason I wanted to try this ripper out first down here on the bean ground because this has never had any really deep tillage done to it. It's only ever had uh, run the disc over it. On occasion we'd run the ripper but we want to start changing our practice because this is one of our bigger fields and we do want to see you know what it can end up producing.
Right off the bat I did notice that the cab on this tractor is a lot bigger and it's a lot quieter than the one on the 9330 and it's definitely a plus. Uh, I know they do have a 9420R, uh, it's a 2017 I think, so it has poly tanks instead of the steels and that has uh, just under a thousand hours so that one does they do want a decent amount more for that compared to what they do for this one uh, this one they do have going for a pretty good deal at the moment and start unfolding it before we get over to where we start ripping We're going to start on the front field here, and then we're going to work on the back one here if we do decide to do this same thing over there. I got a GPS set up. Is that all good to go? So drop the ripper in and see how it does. I know the salesman was saying something that the visibility is a lot better with the poly tanks uh, because they're not so big and blocky. Um, but for what we're going to use one of these tractors for, I don't think it would be too big of a deal. Like I said, we're going to hunt around a bit and see what we can get. Uh, I do want to try out a Kinsey Mocktail this fall or next spring. Uh, get a nice high horsepower tractor and see how that pulls through the hills around here. See if that is a option that we want to look into going towards. For the amount of hours on this tractor, it is a very clean machine. Uh, not too many scratches on the paint. Uh, there is no three point, but that is something we can add if we ever needed that. Uh, don't really think it is something that we'd ever use looking at it right now. Spin around here. And try to do every other. Yeah, we'll just go right back down the next one, I guess. GPS doesn't want to work the best there.
salesman up at the dealership was saying that they do have one of these 2100s that's used. It has about <coughs> probably about 3,000 acres on it, so it's not you know too run through and used. Uh, that we'd be able to bring into our shop and set up as a strip tail rig uh, that we'd be able to use. Uh, just something to look into if we do want to end up going the strip tail route or just get another deep rubber. doesn't mess up this time. I have been hunting around for more of a bigger combine, kind of in like the S670, S680 range. Uh, the, the 9660, I mean, it does a great job. It's just, it's starting to show its size because we have been picking up more and more ground as the years have been going on. The combine is about 10 years old, so it is getting to the point where we've been having to fix a lot lately. Uh, this next winter after we finish harvesting it with it we're gonna bring it in and give it a full rebuild uh, service make sure it's all good to go so it can go probably another two three years before we end up trading in. planter this winter. Uh, the plan is to bring that in to the shop and we ordered precision kit to put all the way around that machine um, so it's ready to go we, so we can get accurate seed placement, row shut off, um, the whole nine yards uh, without having to buy a new planter. Uh, we are going to go with electric drives uh, because the planter is already set up with a uh, vacuum. And it's just been getting pretty time consuming, messing with the tension on the chain all the time, making sure the seeds are getting placed right. 
uh, with precision you can see all that from in the cab I'm probably going to call it quits for today's video. <clears throat> this is about all that's going to be going on because it is going to be too wet to combine. Uh, but if we do end up getting back in the fields uh, with the combine, I'll make sure to get some of that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one.